that's our chairman, everybody. Thank you so much, Chair. Keep this energy up. We are gonna we are gonna send our president Joe Biden out on a high note. <laughs> Chair, thank you, thank you for all your work and advocacy and being a great ally for the Native community. Now, you know, President Biden knew what he was doing when he chose um, Kamala for the vice presidency. And she knows what she's doing when she chose Coach Tim Waltz to be her running mate. So let's give an amazing indigenous Indian country welcome to our vice presidential nominee, Governor Coach Tim Waltz, please. Thank you for having me. Wow, wow, wow. Well, good morning and welcome to Chicago. Wow, uh, Madam Chair, thank you. Thanks for the work that went into this. How about the chair of this party, Jamie Harrison? My God. That every day wakes up uh, joyful about the work we do, does the work necessary, does the work in front of him. Well, to each and every one of you, uh, thank you. Thank you for being here. Uh, hopefully, I. I the last 11 days have been a bit of a whirlwind for me. People are learning a little bit about me. And I, I hope this is a group that knows a little bit about us because there's something in Minnesota that we take very seriously, and that's tribal sovereignty. And, um, and it's not lip service, it's actions. And it's not when it's convenient to have tribal sovereignty. It's every single day about every single decision that needs to be made, and that's the way it needs to be done. You heard uh, Vice President Harris in Arizona say, sovereignty and set it on that stage. To have a United States president understand what we're talking about here, understanding about what it means. In Minnesota, I think you all know this, we have 11 sovereign nations, Anishinaabe and Dakota. And our history in Minnesota, just like the rest of the across this country, uh, is dark. But the inability to acknowledge that um, has held us back for a long time. But in Minnesota, we've acknowledged it's not just enough to admire a problem. What are you going to do to make a difference? What are you going to do to partner? What are you going to do to acknowledge uh, the first Americans? And what are you going to do to understand that our state of Minnesota is stronger because of our 11 sovereign nations? We are better and more just. So I know the Vice President will talk about that. We did it in Minnesota. Many things that we did from codified into law that before any decision in state government's made, consultation is a must and it must be documented and it must work both ways, all the way to up after, uh, after many, many years, removing our racist flag and putting up a new flag in Minnesota. To be new so. so to each and every one of you, you know what's in front of us since the opportunity. We know we know what the other side brings or doesn't bring. We know what that is. We know what they're talking about. This is about a more inclusive society. This is about a society that's, that is bold enough and this is a good enough country to acknowledge everything in our past, the good, the bad, and the ugly, but to be, and to be accountable for how are we gonna do things differently? How are we gonna move things forward? How are we going to make sure that this truly is towards a more perfect union? And those steps are going to have to be concrete. Those steps of making sure we're reducing those, uh, those systemic barriers that are in place and of making sure that we're listening, making sure we're truly listening. And so whether it's talking about uh, access to capital for businesses, whether it's about the opportunity for our children to receive a quality education, or whether it's our shared commitment to make sure that we are stewards of the land and the air and the water, and how are we gonna make sure we're doing that right? And look, we, we saw it in Minnesota who did that. I said, what Indian country doesn't need is you don't need a whole bunch of gatekeepers holding the money and telling you when and you can get it and when you can't. To understand that the knowledge is out there, and we saw it during COVID. In Minnesota, we took COVID seriously because our neighbors' lives were at risk. And you know who was doing the jobs of vaccinating and who were the first ones there? It was our indigenous communities that were out there. When when, when vaccines were short and our tribal communities had extra, 
They vaccinated their neighbors regardless of where they came from. They cared for their neighbors. This sense of duty, this sense of community is something. We got 78 days to wake up on that 79th day to say with great pride, congratulations, Madam President. <laughs> so, long overdue, long overdue. So look, it's a group that understands a little about hard work understands a little about perseverance, understands a little about community, understands a little bit about preparing for the future, not just tomorrow, but for generations out. We have an opportunity in 78 days to change that in a positive way. And as I've been saying is hard work does not scare anybody in this room. And I've been telling people, we can sleep when we're dead. Not now, <laughs> not now, not now. Get the work done. And look, I think everybody knows in here, we're not gonna get ahead of ourselves, but a very interesting thing will happen, and I'm privileged to be on this ticket. When we elect Vice President Harris to the presidency and me to the vice presidency, Minnesota will get a new governor. Yeah. So, <laughs> and, and to have an Anishinaabe woman leading the state of Minnesota and understanding what our bright future together looks like, it's a powerful thing. It's a powerful thing. And uh, if there's one thing I've learned is in, in throughout my life and through all of this, um, you surround yourself with strong women and listen to them, things will go pretty well. Things will go pretty well. So, um, so as, as Peggy has taught me, chi mi glitch to each and every one of you, let's go on and win this thing. Thank you. but I think he just earned a new nickname. I think that's Uncle. I think that is Uncle Tim right there. I think we just got an Uncle Tim. Woo! So are we ready to do this or what? LFG.